Welcome to Panther News. I'm Myla Williams. And I'm Sierra here. This week on Panther News, we check in with the Panther bots after a successful world competition, and we get a look at the new band rings. Our Panther Bots team had their most successful season in the team's 17-year history. The team was a part of the winning alliance in the Johnson division and earned a spot in the Einstein playoffs. Here's more. Worlds was a very awesome competition. We were competing with some of the best teams from across the world. It was very challenging, and the strategy that went behind every single match was super in-depth, and we had to talk amongst our partners. And we had to work as a team among other teams with the team. Uh, winning a Blue Banner for the first time was actually really, really refreshing, especially because we were with another Texas team that we were very familiar with. And with our 17 years on the team, uh, it's our first time winning the Blue Banner, and it's obviously very, it's a very big accomplishment for this team. And we are all very lucky and very happy to have shared this experience with one. 18 of our students will be heading off to the academic UIL regional next week in Arlington. The students will be representing the school in several different events. And we want to give a big congrats to our state forestry judging team and our state horse judging team. Both competed at the state FFA events last week. Our seniors and juniors recently danced the night away at the Lufkin Gala. And you, the students, voted for Danica Barrera and Abel Vargas as the prom queen and king. Where your favorite dream car is? Um, probably like an '89 Chevy. Okay, so my favorite car is um a little a little weird. It's a Ford Expedition 2024 model. A '69 Shelby. So look, 1957 Chevy truck. Oh my God, that thing's a beauty. Porsche 911. A 1965 Ford Mustang. A Kia Soul. It would be a 1970s Scout. My dream car is the one I drive. It is a 2018 uh, Denali Sierra pickup truck. My favorite, favorite dream car. Uh, we have our dream car. We it's have a Jeep. Jeep. <laughs> Panther News is expanding. We are now on Instagram. Be one of the first to follow our new page for bonus content. Just search LHS underscore Panther underscore news. Have a tip? There are three ways to report tips to Crime Stoppers. By phone, online, or through the Crime Stopper app. Your tip could lead to a cash reward. Help Crime Stoppers keep your school safe. Help out our four-legged friends. The Animal Rights Club is now accepting donations for local shelters. Blankets, food, old newspapers, leashes, and Dawn soap are all being accepted. Bring your donation to N321. Students, let's celebrate your future with College Week, April 29th through May 3rd. A full week of looking to the future with five special dress days. Think you're a grill master? Join the LHS barbecue team. Scan the QR code or stop by Mr. Whitaker's room. Come out and watch your classmates take a walk down the red carpet for the annual LHS Fashion Show on April 30th at 6 p.m. Want to be a drug-free all-star next year? Scan the QR code and get your application in today. Applications are due May 31st. Reminder to all students, as the year is winding down, please stay in dress code. This includes no pajama pants and no hats. And make sure you are following the class reminds for all the latest up-to-the-minute announcements.
Our Lufkin Panther Band was able to celebrate their season this past week with the arrival of their state championship rings that they won last fall in Waco at the UIL marching competition. a lot to me for the students to be repeat champions. It's a big deal that I can help students see that they can do something that is a high level achievement. The ring looks really good this year. I love the design. I love the pearls that it's got. It's real, it's real shiny. It's real good. I think it really embodies the accomplishment that we, uh, that we made winning state. It looks pretty cool. I mean, this is really big compared to last year's. We definitely upgraded. Yes, we had to bring both of them. I, I really like it. A 10 out of 10. As you can see, the two diamonds at the bottom, because we've won twice. Back yes, back, back, back to back. back. Yeah. I give it a 10 out of 10. Definitely a 10. I feel like I've earned this moment and I've been waiting for the rings for so long and I'm just finally happy that I finally got it. It's been coming a long time coming and I'm just uh, glad to be around people, you know, love, family like that to me, and, you know, just a good time. Being a two-time champion is such an amazing feeling because you get to experience it with everybody. I would also like to thank Lufkin ISD and the school board and the administration for funding these rings and providing this uh, nice treat for the students and uh, go Panthers. Those were some highlights from our football team's recent spring practice. The Panthers are getting ready for an exciting fall season that will see themselves in a new district. You can come on out May 13th to the annual spring game. Now we check in with reporter Reed Baston at the recent signing day. I'm here with Natalie Salinas. So how does it feel to be able to sign today? I'm really excited. And how does it feel to be able to play soccer so close to home? I think that was the big uh, reason why I chose Angelina because um, I feel very comfortable to be able to play here close to my family and home. I'm here with Serenity Smith. And how does it feel to be signing today? Feels really great that Wally has a whole new program since the 80s, so we will be a part of a new generation. And I'm just ready to see how it goes. And how has softball impacted your life here? Um, I will say the teammates, even though I came my junior year, and then the coaches. I've been playing for like 14 years now, so I would say I have grown as a person and can't wait. And then I'm with Annalise Del Toro. So how does it feel to be signing today? It feels great. I'm really excited. And what have you learned from your high school experience here? From my coaches, I've learned a lot of responsibility, and I put that towards, you know, seeking out colleges and finally getting signed. Finally this week, we have our featured teacher, the very creative Mrs. Davis. I'm here with Ms. Davis. Um, what, do, what do you teach? I teach art. What is your favorite thing about teaching art? I think it's helping, find, helping students find solutions to problems and using materials in an interesting way. Okay. And if you didn't teach art, what would you teach? Um, I think I might like to go into science. Maybe be an astronaut or an entomologist. Thank you. 
That'll do it for us this week. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And turn on those notifications. Until next time, follow the Panther way. Follow the Panther way! <laughs>